okay good guys thank you very much for staying around we just got to our first lesson particularly we were trying to understand uh, fully how the mass operate all right so quickly our next thing we're going to be looking at is that we're going to be looking at how to create a folder all right how to create a folder now quickly something that we didn't say in our first lesson uh this entire portion of the window here where we don't find any icon they are our blank desktop all right the entire portion where we don't find any icon all right they are our blank desktop so as we continue with the lesson you hear me saying we click on your blank desktop secondary click on your blank desktop or primary click on your blank desktop you will hear me saying things of such so please do not be confused as we continue our lesson so quickly today we are going to be creating our folder right so we're going to be using two form two ways to create this identical folder so the first way we're going to be using we're going to be doing it uh, manually and the next step we're going to do it through the command line so do not panic do not think all right i'm going to do everything very easy that you will understand so our first way in creating folder we're going to do we're going to firstly let me firstly refresh this window so i'm going to secondary click which is right click and left click on refresh now so the first we're going to create this folder we're going to create it by secondary clicking and come down to new now after coming to new we can see here we have folder right we have folder we have all other options but our goal is to create a folder so once you click on folder here the folder is going to be created but now what baffles me here what bring my concern is that the folder is going to come with a name saying new folder all right, I, it, it, that is not what I want. All right, I don't want the photo to come up with it in custom my name. Uh, let's say there's a window, window have automatically named the photo. All right, so if I want to rename this photo, I have to come uh, right click on it and then come to rename all the way down here. Rename before I can rename this photo. All right. Then name it as my good my first photo. Then name it as my first as my first photo. All right, this is it. All right, now we name it as my first photo. All right, now I don't want you to be confused. All right, uh, there are best or uh, way that best method to which you can do this and trust me you will be successful you will be strongly successful without renaming the photo so that's the first way on creating photo quickly i'm just going to drag the photo up here that is i click i stick my hand on the primary key of my mouse and then i drag it over that is left click on it and drag it over right so that was just what i did so we can keep it any part of the window for now so the next step we're going to be doing we're going to be creating folder through the command line right okay other uh, operating system well this is the window command line which is the cmd we're going to press window plus arrow or we press window and search the word cmd right now you are seeing command prompt right this is this is just what we are looking for command prompt so we're going to run this command prompt as administrator now after running it as an administrator, which was wrong, now we're going to keep it straight instead of running as as administration administrator. Now, quickly, uh, you might be using the administrator of your computer, right? But this computer have the computer I'm using. I have two other users, right? And I'm using this identical user called you for YouTube. We where I created separately to do all of my YouTube videos. So if I'm doing it administrative way, it's going to ask me for administrative password. All right. But if you do it on your machine, it won't ask you for administrative password. To be honest. So quickly, let us do it another way round. So we say CMD quickly, and then we just open it up straightly. Now it is open. Whenever the command line open, you're going to see here right you're going to see user and they see the user name so the user name of the computer is youtube right so what we're going to do here is that we're going to get on the desktop so first day in this window command line it now window computer 
let me give you a lay hint on this command line now although we have a whole series on command line teaching a whole lot of things but this command line particularly is like um uh, it's like the is like the opposite version of the main and thread side that we use now this is the graphical user interface this is the graphical user interface that we do that we use this is the gra graphical user interface and for me this is just where we write directly to the computer okay so let's, let's take this for our beginner understanding i'm trying to put it as much possible that you will understand it right now so we're going to write our lines of text here and then we expect the line of text to give a, a clear result so firstly we will use cd cd is to change directory right the cd stands for change directory so we want to change directory we want to get on the desktop we want to get on the desktop of the computer now we are on the desktop of the computer the next thing we want to create a footer on the desktop so we're going to say mk make directory mkdir right mkdir make directory and after saying make directory the next thing we're going to look at we're going to name this directory we're going to name the folder so we we'll say my second folder now we enter this now if you check on the uh, computer you will find out that we have my second folder already now let us look at this all right i created this separating the words right you see i created it saying my space second space photo space now we don't understand this to be three different photos all right we don't understand this to be three different photos but if you want it in just a single photo you can make mkdir and say mine second photo all right and then if we press enter we're going to get it just as it is so quickly we're going to check our desktop and see what we have now understand i said on this first line here window recognize all of these scripts here all of the text as this is mine is a separate folder second is a separate folder and folder is a separate folder by itself so it created three different folders now if you come here over to where we have this make directory again so we added we combine all of the words together here my second photo and it just gave us a single photo so let us check it out quickly so this is my photo that was created second was created photo was created and this is my second photo all right so guys those are the way in which you can be able to create a photo now you can create multiple photo as once you can create single photo at one it based on how you want to get this okay so if you check in the video description you will find all uh, those lines those text that i just wrote in the command line so guys thank you very much for paying attention i hope to see you guys in the next video please do not forget to subscribe so that we can bring you more content like this thank you very much